Thank you and welcome, Stephen. We're grateful for you sharing with us your thoughts about uh, the real estate market, the work you've been doing around the country, and especially what's been going on here in our backyard. Seeing how Florida's grown, I think this is a lot different type of growth, where in the past Florida growth was never based on the fact of job. I mean, you know, the state still, the uh, hospitality industry is still the biggest industry in the state of Florida. Um, but, um, and thank God for that, because you know, we don't have uh, state income taxes here. Um, but I think that you're seeing people moving from all parts of the country or thinking about it and relocating in Florida. I mean, Texas and Florida are probably the two primary beneficiaries of what's occurring, you know, in, in the country today in terms of uh, change in, you know, population growth. Why was West Palm Beach attractive to you when you first started developing there? And how have you seen that market evolve? When we first got attracted to it, um, I was living in Miami and I would be going up there. I had relatives that lived in Palm Beach and they had an RFP for a site and we had a competition with Heinz and um, Simon uh, were one team and there were a couple of local developers and we won it and we had this idea of a, of a mixed use project, but it was a 72 acres and there was a, um, and they're going to build a uh, convention center uh, on the, uh, as part of the project as well. Um, and so, I mean, we sold out the residential, everything as well, leased it up, a beautiful project. And uh, but then the summertime, you know, the market fled and uh, the retail tenants had problems. And it really tells you sometimes you don't know, you get lucky how the market's changed and how, you know, and how fast time goes by, you know. Um, so that, that 72 acres right now is right in the heart of it. We're tearing buildings down, building uh, office buildings, as I said before, and, uh, and we're, we're doing quite well. What is your vision of how to support and grow the talent pipeline in West Palm Beach? The reason to grow anywhere for corporations to move is really the search for talent. The talent wants to live and work or, you know, and hopefully they, they've already, you know, been educated there because they've shown where they want to be. Seeing what was happening here and right after the pandemic, uh, I called the, gov the governor and suggested as we wanted to see the growth of South Florida and told him, you know, the idea, he said, he loved it. He said, call the chairman of the, of the University of Florida. And so I did. So they'll be building a two million square foot campus to really service South Florida with the graduate programs. I think it'll be very, very important for the future of Florida in terms of creating jobs, corp companies relocating here and looking for that kind of talent. Well, we're certainly happy to see more of you down here. I think we've, we've noticed an uptick and some of yeah. that has to be attributable to your ownership of the dolphins and the involvement well, that, that you've had there. Well, I love South Florida. You know, it's been my home, you know, and coming back here from high school days. Um, and just uh, seeing the opportunity, and I, I was, you know, not really actively involved. Uh, and I love development. So, and seeing the possibilities, and, you know, in uh, West Palm, I got really activated again in really doing it, which I really love. So I'm having the time of my life. and. Uh, We've been very active up there in West Palm, trying to really make it a city of, for really great inclusive growth. And we get involved, we're uh, building a golf club up there that many of you might want to join. Three golf courses, one club with three of the great designers, you know, have cottages, and, uh, swimming pools, and all the amenities of the resort. Um, and uh, by being a member there, I mean, knowing there's such limited golf, in, uh, in the Miami area, I think it will attract a lot of people from here are joining and will be a hill pad for, for it's only about, I would say, a, a, an hour and a half, hour, 45 minute drive. Um, but it'll be great for weekends with family, 
things like that. It's going to be first class. Your interests are, are very, you're very well known for your uh, philanthropy and your civic involvement. And you've also had a strong involvement in sports. Uh, we are seeing quite a change from the old Joe Robbie Stadium as the football only <laughs> destination. You've done quite a lot there. Talk to us a little bit about the entertainment uh, facility that you've built. Well, I mean, my introduction, I mean, the reason for buying the, the Dolphins was, I mean, I, I love sports, but also sports is something that brings people together, brings the communities together, and it has a major impact on, on the area where you're, you know, playing, uh, the cities where you're playing. And, and of course, now you've got F1 coming. This year, uh, in uh, March 8th, we have F1. Um, that'll draw uh, more than the Super Bowl. We'll have it in Miami for the next 15 years. And it will be incredible for the economy here. Uh, the economic impact is, is phenomenal because of a lot of uh, out-of-towners coming in. And the first week of May, we have it. Uh, our contract is for 15 years and with the right to renew. So it'll be an annual event down here. And I think that it will grow to be one of the great races in, in, in the country. I know the Formula One, the, the reason they did it and the deal that we made um, was for them to really feature this, to be really this and Monaco as being the two leading races uh, that they were really being known for. Has your decision to build in, in both the Miami and West Palm areas been affected by the introduction of Bright Line? I think, I think that'll help the whole area. And that really will bring South Florida closer together. I mean, when you can go from Palm Beach or West Palm Beach to Miami in an hour, and I think, you know, you'll see a lot of growth. And there will be stops in Boca as well as Fort Lauderdale. So um, it really opens up these areas for, you know, for jobs. And with jobs, there's opportunities in real estate. We're all looking for. I mean, the opportunity is here. People want to be here, you know. And I think that you know, uh, it's like being in Florida at the right time, the right place. And, uh, and I think all the, the whole South Florida area, I mean, the, you know, even the whole state is really, you know, it's the place to be and the place to really grow if you're in the real estate business, you know, over the next, you know, 20 years, 30 years. Yeah, it feels to most of us locals like the rest of the world is finally catching on to what a great place it is down here. Yeah, it's about time, right? <laughs>